This is question two. In part eight, we're asked to evaluate 32 to the power of three fifths, giving our answer as an integer. The question carries two marks. The first thing I'm going to write is 32 to the power of one fifth, which we're going to cube. So this is one way that we can write this. 32 to the power of one fifth, or the fifth root of 32 will give me two. We need to cube our answer. 2 cubed, or 2 to the power of 3, is going to give us 8. So 2 marks in total for part A. In part B, we're asked to simplify fully 25x to the 4th over 4 raised to the minus 1 half power. The question carries 2 marks. Lots of different approaches with this one. I'm going to invert the fraction and raise it to the positive 1 half power. So we'll have 4 over 25x to the power of 4 which I'm going to raise now to the positive one half power. The half power is the square root, so the square root of four is going to give me two, the square root of 25 is going to give me five, and the square root of x to the fourth will be x squared. So we can write two over five x squared, or if we like, two fifths x to the power of minus two. Lots of different approaches on part B. The final answer will look something like one of these two, and now the question will carry two marks.